Hello and welcome to Do Crafts HQ for another episode of our weekly crafting TV show. Later we'll be joined by lovely Becky James who'll be showing us a very special Christmas project. But first I wanted to show you a little sneak peek of something that's coming uh, to you in September. We all love the capsule collections and this is the newest addition to the range. This is the spots and stripes uh, in the jewel tones. And as you can see, it's got some beautiful vibrant shades, um, some purples, I just love this teal shade. Um, and there's also accents of metallics on here, so met uh, metallic silver and metallic gold, which I think would be perfect for Christmas, definitely, but also for projects of all occasions, so masculine cards and so on. Um, and of course, it comes with all the embellishments that you're used to seeing in the capsule collection. Um, and I particularly like the big bloomers. Those are pretty fantastic. Right, let's get on with some crafting. Hi Becky, welcome along. Now I'm very excited about this project. It looks amazing. Right, well what we've done is we've actually taken here um, a cake dome and we've turned it into a 3D Christmas decoration it's with, a, with a, a scene inside it. I'm going to move it. them a little bit nearer. So the thing about this is it is so impressive to look at I think but it is so Oh, simple and to And you've create. used all sorts of lovely products Absolutely. in here. Uh, mostly um, the Paper Mania Christmas in the Country Absolutely. range. But also some amazing X-Cut dies, which I know you're yep. going to show us. Yeah, I'm just going to take the, the lid off just quickly That's so it. we can see. Um, so we can see the, the, the business part of the, the design. Yeah. Brilliant. So what, so what are we going to make first? What we're actually going to do first is to look at the 3D stag die Fantastic. and uh, actually put one of those together and what I love about it is it tells you exactly what you need to cut and how many of each of the parts you need That's and then it handy. just tells you how to put it together it's so simple to follow. It looks so impressive doesn't it? So I'm going to follow the instructions here and I've die cut everything here I've got one of each um, sort of side of the of the stag. Mm -hmm. Now to get this started I actually like to line everything up so that all my little slats here are all lined up okay and what i tend to do is just to put a little bit of glue there so that it holds the um hold him together. holds him together on his on his face there on his little head and from here on you basically just follow the instructions oh, and you're actually putting these you're just slipping these inside the um slats so you just push them in like this. Now all I'm going to do now is just put a little bit of glue at the end of the spine mm -hmm. and we just stick that together and then that holds all the bits in oh, place. Oh, that's so simple. Now how easy is that? That is just so easy and if you want to you can just curl the little antlers and things like that up Brilliant. just to give them a bit of dimension. Oh, and I love him. The next thing that I'm going to show you is how I've made the trees because the trees actually stand up because what I quite think about when I'm doing this sort of design is how's it going to look looking yep. right the way around so mm -hmm. I don't want the back to have all stands and things because if somebody turns it around they might I would like no. them to see that it looks nice and neat on the yep. back as well so we're going to make the little stand-up trees and then Good. after that we'll just talk a little bit about how the rest of it's been put together brilliant okay so we'll pop our little reindeer over there actually before we move on to the trees yeah. I do have a question from oh, um, one of our creativity club members mm -hmm. it's from Marjorie in Barnstable okay. now she sent us an email to tv at docrafts.com to ask us um, how do I get the intricate die cuts out of her dies because that can be a little bit tricky can't it sometimes it can be yeah particularly if you're using like a thicker cardstock like this yes. as well I mean there's a few things that I would say and a few ideas I can give you um, if I just get one of the dies out of the, this pack actually um, because obviously the bit of, that's really quite intricate on these are the legs and the, the antlers. Yeah. So there are actually little holes on the sides oh, here. Yeah. And what you do is you actually, you can get um, a piercing tool and just push those out if you want to. Okay. But there are a couple of other things that you can do and, and a, a couple of other things that I know um, I've heard other crafters uh, yeah. use for this. Um, you can dust talc on it. Okay. And that will help to release it because obviously talc makes the, the surface a little bit more slippy. Um, the other thing that I do as well is, and this is my personal favourite, is get some baking paper. You put oh. a layer of baking paper between the um, die and the card. Okay. And then that will help to release it. Oh, okay, that makes um, sense. Which is another one. 
But if you've also got a more solid air, solid die as well, then of course you can use our new quick release foam that's coming Which out. Which works a treat, it does. definitely. Yeah. Right then, so what I'm going to do the now trees. is I'm going to show you the trees. I've got just going to have a bit of scrap paper here as well. Um, because I'm going to have quite a lot of glue going on here. Mm -hmm. But uh, what we've got, I, to make the trees, I've actually used the three smallest of the bunting dies. So if I just... Brilliant. So you can see. And I've used three different sizes so that you can give a bit of perspective when yep. you see. Um, but the one that I've cut here is actually the largest one. Good. Now, I want it to be quite sturdy. Yes. Um, so what I've done is I've actually used the back of an, something like an A4 piece um, okay. paper pad and I've die cut that because our dies will go through yeah. that if you roll it back and forwards a couple of times. That's the base of my tree, that's the actual um, body of the tree. And I've cut a couple of pieces of paper to cover it so it's back and forth, front is going to be Now this looks like the festive capsule collection. It is indeed. Um, which I, I love. Yeah, it's absolutely. Really, really lovely. And this is the pack that's all the polka dots. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah, that's brilliant, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like, that's definitely my favourite pattern, the dots. So yeah, uh, yes. The, the more the better. The more the better. <laughs> we love the dots. Right, so what we're going to do, first of all, is I've actually got two half inch strips and they're about two inches in length. Okay. And all I'm going to do is fold these over. Now, what I've done um, with these is I've actually cut them from um, the Paper Mania design stacks, the four by four inch card. Oh yeah. With the little card mm -hmm. packs with the, the half white and half um, craft. I've gone with the white because it's going to melt, uh, sort of uh, melt into the background with okay. the snowballs. But this is 300 GSM, so uh, it's really, really sturdy okay. to make a, a base and a stand. Let's see. So I'll just give this a good rub down, so I've got a nice, nice crease on there. And all I'm going to do is I'm putting these underneath so that they don't um, they don't show through. Oh, I get. I uh, see. Yep, I understand. On my tree, and I'm going to put one halfway in the centre there, and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then what I can do is just cover over the top with um, the papers. Brilliant. And that's basically going to give me my trees. Now I've made three there and I've actually mixed, um, we've spoken before about the capsule collections and how they're yeah. there to mix with other ranges. Yeah. And in this one, we've mixed it with the Christmas in the Country range. Because the Christmas in the Country's got loads of really nice sort of plaids and tartans, yeah. hasn't it? So yeah. like you say, to give it a little bit of, a bit of a difference. It's nice yeah. to mix that in. Yeah, absolutely. And that's it, basically. That is your tree. That's so simple. It is so simple, using the bunting dies. But then from then on, it's really up to ha you how yeah. you decorate it. First of all, um, the base, these are the Craft Planet pom-poms. And I've got uh, some sparkly ones and the white ones as well. So, and they have just piled those and you in. You haven't glued these down, have you? So you no. can use your, your cake stand for something else yeah, later if you wanted to. Yeah, you, you your can mind do. Um, now the trees here, you'll see, I've actually um, decorated some of them with capsule um, with paper mania capsule buttons. Okay. And this one, I've actually decorated um, with a few of the embellishments that are. Um, that are in the uh, Christmas in the Country range. And I've actually, I love these die cuts because you can just pull them apart. So I've done the Comfort and is on there. Yeah. Um, I've die cut the Joy with the, um, with the uh, Alice uh, X cut die. Fantastic. Um, because they, it's a little bit smaller and fits in yeah. better than these ones. But you could use these ones if you wanted to. And some, I love these big bows. They've that just brilliant. got real oh Yeah, definitely. So I've layered everything up on there. So it just gives you a couple of different looks that you can make with your trees. Yeah. Um, around the bottom, I've uh, covered it with... Uh, now, again, we've gone to the Christmas in the Country range, and I've pulled out the trims. I think these so, are my favourite trims for, oh, for a little them. while. I love these. Yeah, I love the pom-poms. I put the pom-poms round um, actually underneath the ribbon first before I stuck the ribbon on. Oh, I see, to, just so, to hide yeah. the top edge. And again, um, stick that on with a glue gun, it's really yep. easy. And then you just pop that round there. And at the front here, we've actually um, popped a little sentiment on, which again is from the die cut, this is from the die cut A5 toppers. So uh, this is the May, your day's been mm -hmm. merry and bright here. And 
I love doing this whole layered effect. So what I've done here is I've laid up buttons, um, bows, jingle bells, that sort of thing. But also this, I love this. And this oh. is in the wreath die set, the new yes. wreath die set that's come out. And this is a, a little pine cone silhouette. That's so cute. And I love those. And again, I've added those here with a little bit of um, iridescent glitter glue just to give them oh, some yeah, Christmas sparkle. And the dome, and basically I wanted an area so that you looked, we'll move those oh, over there, where you look through. So I've um, sort of almost bordered that off with um, ruffled um, Lucy Cromwell pattern craft tape. Yes, that's lovely. And these are the glitterations uh, um, of peel off they stickers, the snowflakes. They? they are absolutely wonderful. And the nice thing about them is they're glittery on the outside, but when you look inside, you still see it snowing in the background. Oh, of course. And it really so, does just look like one of your classic snow globes, yeah, doesn't it? It does. All the instructions for Becky's project are going to be on docrafts.com. So if you've forgotten anything um, or you just want a little bit more guidance on the products she's used and so on, you'll better find all the step by steps and all your supplies lists there. Um, we'd really like to see if you have a go at creating something a little bit like this. I guess it doesn't even have to be a Christmas project. Maybe no. a, like a city scene might be really nice yeah. inside there or something beach themed would be really good. A little sort of bit of sand in the, inside yeah. there, couldn't you? You could. So if you have a go, drop us an email to tv at docrafts.com and upload your projects to your Docrafts gallery and we can have a little look and maybe feature your projects on an upcoming episode. Thank you very much. That's okay. And until next time, happy crafting. <laughs> <laughs>